Hi, how are you? I'm Noddy. Oh my goodness, and who have you brought along with you today? I'm Noddy. Noddy, oh yeah, Noddy. <laughs> and Mummy? Okay, my name's Amina, I'm one of the children's doctors. I'm going to take a look at your tummy if that's okay. Is that alright with you? Okay, great. I'm just going to wear these gloves. Sometimes they can be really tricky to put on, especially when you've got the alcohol gel on. How are you feeling today? You feeling okay? And are you in any pain at all? No, but you, oh, but you've got a little cough there, do you? Yeah. All right, sweetie. Is it okay if you lie down on the bed? Lie down on the bed. And I'm going to start off. Oh, dear. Are you all right? Are you sure? Are you comfortable lying down? Yeah? I'm going to start by just taking a little look around the room, seeing if there's anything you've brought with you at all, other than Noddy. We'll put Noddy right here. Okay. Great. Can I take a look at your hands? Is that all right? Can I look at both of them? Wow. Nice hands. And turn them around. Well done. And can you do this funny thing? Point up. <coughs> oh, dear. And then down. And then stick your fingers together. Oh, you are an expert, aren't you? Well done. Okay, let me just have a little feel here of your pulse. Good work. Now, can you do this for me? Look, stretch your arms out and put your hands back like you're saying, stop. Stop. <laughs> well done. Good girl. All right, let me take a look in your eyes. I'm just going to pull them down a little bit. Good work. And can you open your mouth up? Ah. Uh, you have such clean teeth. They are lovely. Do you brush your teeth? Do you? <laughs> yeah. Good work. Okay, for a minute, could I just ask you to sit up? Sorry about that. Just so that I can have a little feel over here in your neck. Well done. And just over here, the top of your neck. Great. And whilst you're up there, I'll just have a quick look at your back. Good work. Okay, lie down again. Quick look at your chest. Nice, and now your tummy, the important bit. I'm just going to put you straight if that's okay. All right, so I can see that you've got a tube here. And that it's coming from this bit of your tummy. And I'm just going to have a closer look at it. Well done. All right. Do you have any pain in your tummy? Um, no. What? Okay, I won't touch there, but I'll touch the rest if that's okay. Put your head down. <coughs> Ooh, what can I feel in there? What can I feel? <laughs> chicken nuggets. Chicken nuggets? No. Have you had chicken nuggets? No. And did you have chips as well? No. I can definitely feel the chip in there. Okay. And now I'm just going to feel a bit deeper. Good work. Good work. Well done. And I won't feel too deeply over there. Okay, now, can you breathe in and out for me? And again. And again. Good. Deep breath. Well done. Good work. And again. And again. Do you have star earrings? Yeah. Oh, my goodness. How long have you had them for? Long time? Um, yeah. Oh, wow. And deep breaths again. Good. And again. And again. And again. Whoopsie. And again. Good. And let's do a bit of tapping again. Good work. And I'll just have a feel on the sides. Thank you. And um, usually I'd examine the external genitalia and the hernia orifices, but I'm not going to do that for her modesty today. And can I just have a look at your ankles? Yeah. Give them a little press. All right. Well, thank you, Leah. Thank you very much. Should I help you sit up again? Yeah. Let's help you sit up so you can be comfortable. Thank you. And thank you, Noddy. Thanks. 
So um, thank you for asking me to examine Aaliyah, who's a three-year-old girl. On examination today, she appeared to be very well in herself, and she wasn't in any um, respiratory distress. She seemed to be um, well and pain-free. Um, I undertook a card, uh, gastrointestinal examination. On her hands, she didn't have any palmar erythema. She didn't have any clubbing. Her pulses were nice and normal. Looking at her eyes, there was no conjunctival pallor. There was no ulceration in her mouth. She did not have any um, peripheral stigmata of chronic liver disease. She appeared to be um, uh, well-grown for her age. However, I'd like to plot her on an appropriate growth chart. Um, looking at her abdomen, I noticed that she had a tube inserted in the epigastric re region of her abdomen. This is most likely to be a PEG tube, so a gastrostomy tube. Um, it, it, she was not currently attached to any feeds. And in fact, she mentioned that she had eaten some um, chicken nuggets today, so she is still having some oral intake as well. Um, examination of the abdomen, the abdomen was soft and non-tender. There was no organomegaly. And um, uh, I didn't examine the hernial orifices today, and she didn't have any signs of um, uh, peripheral edema. So in summary, this is a three-year-old girl who appears to be well, and the only positive sign in, on examination today was a uh, PEG tube. Okay, so um, the different types of um, tubes you can have. You can have a gastrostomy tube for feeding. This could be um, a gastrostomy. It could be a jejunostomy, or you could have both together in a peg J. Um, other tubes from the abdomen would be if you had a um, if you had renal failure and you required peritoneal dialysis. However, that tube would look slightly different. Um, other tubes would be if um, you had any drains post-abdominal surgery. However, I couldn't see any scars on her to indicate that she had had any surgery. And why might she have Okay, so uh, PEG tubes are used to feed children when they can't swallow, such as for neurological problems. However, she mentioned that she is eating, so that's unlikely to be her indication. Other reasons children can have PEG tubes would be to help them if they required regular medications and also if they were suffering from severe reflux. Okay. And what complications do you notice? Um, so one of the complications is you can get buildup of granulation tissue, and she did have some granulation tissue today. You'd also want to keep an eye out for any infections, um, any leakages, and you'd want to ensure that the tube did not become dislodged, and you'd want to give parents advice on when to return or seek medical attention if they thought their child had developed any complications. Okay, that's the end of your paper. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank Thanks. You.